if we recipients and medal winners. Assalamu alaikum and Ada. It is a profound honor and a personal joy to be present here on the momentous occasion of the sixth convocation of this prestigious university, the Sher Kashmir University of Agricultural Sciences and Technology. Convocations are not merely ceremonial, they are celebrations of commitment. Today is a celebration of your knowledge, your effort, your discipline, and the dreams you've nurtured with care over the years. To each of you to graduating or receiving your degrees today, congratulations, not just for completing the degree, but for completing a transformation. This university was born out of a vision to empower the youth of Jammu and Kashmir through agriculture, science, and innovation. That vision, rooted in the ideals of Sheikh Mohammed Abdullah, finds expression today in every lab, lecture hall, and field station of SCORS. Over the years, SCORS has grown into a center of excellence. You pioneered research in temperate horticulture, built models for sustainable farming in high altitude regions, and contributed to critical work in animal husbandry and organic practices. Your institution is not just producing graduates, it is producing problem solvers for the grassroots. In Jammu and Kashmir, agriculture is not only the backbone of our economy, it is our culture, our identity, and for many, our daily bread. Over 70% of our population are either directly or indirectly connected to the sector. But we know this truth. The agriculture of yesterday cannot meet the challenges of tomorrow. We face climate change, we face land degradation, we face market volatility, and we face the hopes of a generation that wants not only to survive, but to thrive. That is why our administration has launched a series of ambitious data-driven reform programs that are not just transformative on paper, but tangible on the ground. The Holistic Agriculture Development Program is one of these cornerstones of change. With an investment of over 5,000 crores, HADP is bringing together science, finance, governance to transform JNK into a hub of high value, high tech, and high return agriculture. Whether it's precision farming, protected cultivation, dairy modernization, or post harvest processing, we are working hand in hand with scientists, entrepreneurs, <coughs> and our farming communities. We are supporting 29 major projects, including high-density apple and walnut plantations, sheep husbandry clusters, saffron revitalization, and innovative agribusiness models. Graduates of SCOS, this is your playground, and this mission is your field. Our mission, Yuma, powering your aspirations. This is another pillar of our vision for the youth of Jammu and Kashmir where lakhs of youth will be engaged in skilling, mentor mentorship, and entrepreneurship programs. This will take place at the district level, where we will support the building of confidence and capability. And we've already started with the support for hundreds of startups in food processing, agri-tech, dairy, and floriculture, sectors where SCOS graduates can, lend from the, can lead from the front. If you have an idea, we'll fund it. If you have a plan, we'll partner you. If you have the courage, we will create the platform. Graduates are our new torchbearers. To all of you who graduate today, the world needs your knowledge, yes. But more importantly, it needs your courage, your compassion, and your character. Let me leave you with three simple requests. Be bold with your ideas. Don't just look for jobs, create them. Build agri startups, consult with pharma groups, digitize extension services. You are uniquely trained to bridge science and society. Stay rooted in your soil. Never forget your land and the people that raised you. As you rise, let others rise with you. Whether you go to Bangalore or to Berlin, carry JMK in your heart. Continue to a peaceful, prosperous Jammu and Kashmir. 
Jammu and Kashmir is on the path of a transformation, economically, socially, and politically. Help us shape this new story, not through slogans, but through service, not through entitlement, but through excellence. Today, as you step out into the world, you carry with you more than academic knowledge. You carry the aspirations of a new Jammu and Kashmir, a place that is peaceful, productive, and proud. You are not just future scientists or officers, you are future problem solvers. So let me ask you, can you help double the income of our small farmers? Can you build design, or can you build or design solutions for climate smart agriculture? Can you build agri-enterprises that create jobs in our villages? Can you mentor the next generation just as your professors mentored you? If your answer to any of these questions is yes, then know that you will never walk alone. The full support of the Ramon Singh government will be behind you. To your parents and to the faculty, thank you. Thank you to the parents for your trust in education, for your sacrifices. Behind every gold medal and every degree today, there are nights without sleep and years of silent support. To the faculty, thank you for being torchbearers and taskmasters. You've not just taught cinema, you've shaped mindsets. Your role is not over. In fact, it's just beginning. As mentors, researchers, and guides in this fast-changing agricultural and economic landscape. But in conclusion, let me request you to grow with purpose. Let me ask you to end with the image of a seed. A seed appears small. It is buried in the darkness. It faces resistance from the soil, but with time it grows. It breaks the ground. It becomes a tree, and that tree offers shade, fruit, and shelter, even in storms. Each of you is a seed of transformation. Plant yourself in the right place, nurture your values, water your dreams with effort, and I assure you, the world will benefit from your growth. The future of Jammu and Kashmir is not just in government files, it is in your hands. Let us build a future that is scientific, sustainable, and full of dignity for every citizen. I once again congratulate all the graduates, degree recipients, and awardees today. Khuda Hafiz.